These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. <clears throat> All right. Well, what's up, everybody? It's Grim Green back here. And today we're going to be talking about some mother trucking science, but not just science. This is a honestly groundbreaking study from the MUSC Hollings Cancer Center. They have done the largest vape study ever done in the United States. This study should theoretically maybe silence a few critics who insist that nicotine vaping and e-cigarettes just don't help people quit smoking. The Cochrane Review, the Cochrane Library, which is based in the UK, has had a living systematic review for e-cigs for smoking cessation going on for the last few years. It's an ongoing meta-analysis of all of the best current available evidence regarding nicotine vaping for smoking cessation. The Cochrane Library is considered worldwide the gold standard of meta-analysis and is used by countries worldwide to inform their health policy. The Cochrane Library recently did an update to this review, which I'll have a video for later, but even at the time of their last previous update, they already had high certainty evidence that nicotine vaping was more effective than pills, patches, or gums at getting smokers to quit. Over here in America, the MUSC Hollings Cancer Center just conducted the largest and most extensive e-cigarette trial in the history of America. And the results are honestly, I don't like using buzzwords. These results are honestly game changing. Dr. Matthew Carpenter and his team set out to answer the critical question. Can nicotine vaping and e-cigarettes help smokers quit? And can nicotine vaping and e-cigarettes help smokers quit even if they weren't planning to? Well, here's the thing. Dr. Carpenter himself said he was blown away with the results because every hypothesis they tested came out true. I mean, that's pretty rare in the world of science, but the results are pretty undeniable. The people who got their hands on an e-cigarette in the study showed more success in quitting smoking and reducing harm compared to those who didn't. His exact quote was, no matter how we looked at it, those who got the e-cigarette product demonstrated greater abstinence and reduced harm as compared to those who didn't get it. And here's the thing that makes this a truly groundbreaking study. It is as real as it gets. Instead of a structured, controlled, clinical environment, they gave people e-cigarettes with minimal instructions and then just let them do their thing. Just let them go vape. It's like a vaping experiment in the wild. It's essentially what the vape community has been doing for the last 14 years. In fact, a large number of smokers involved in this study, when the study started, said they had no intention of quitting smoking. Those people ended up quitting smoking anyway. People in the e-cigarette group were more likely to report quitting combustible cigarettes entirely. They also cut down on their daily cigarette consumption and made many more quit attempts. And trust me, those quit attempts are essential because most smokers need a few shots at it before they can finally kick the habit. Unfortunately, this gets called dual use by the tobacco control mafia and is used as an argument against nicotine vaping and e-cigarettes, but any real human smoking person will tell you quitting takes many, many attempts, just like this study says, and dual use is most likely an off-ramp to complete cigarette abstinence just like this study says. So Dr. Carpenter and his team, Dr. Benjamin Toll, director of the MUSC Health Tobacco Treatment Program, they're pushing for an educational program which would clarify the very simple fact that while neither option is completely safe, what is completely safe in the world. While neither option is completely safe, traditional cigarettes are in order of magnitude more harmful than nicotine vaping and e-cigarettes. It's science just cold, hard, unflinching science. The facts, unfortunately, don't really care about your feelings. Every person and passerby you see using a nicotine vape is making a healthy decision to not smoke cigarettes 
period. And lastly here, I'll leave you with some good advice from the study's author who said, no one wants e-cigarettes in the hands of kids. We should do all we can to stop that, but we shouldn't do so by denying this option for adult smokers who can't otherwise quit. Wise, wise words. And I will say, it is terribly interesting that the usual suspects of anti-vaping journalism who jump on literally every cherry picked rat study that's ever been released hasn't seemed to notice or reported on the largest e-cigarette study ever done in America. So take this information, share it, share it around. Everything I'm saying is backed up by evidence and data and everything will always be linked in the description below. You know, if you see what you like here, maybe drop a like on this video and crush that subscribe button because there is a lot of tobacco related misinformation out there to correct and I'm kind of just getting started. This has been a Grim Green video. Let's stay smoke free literally every single day. <coughs> it's like 10.30 and I'm uh, just gonna smoke, so. Compared to those who didn't, didn't. Fuck.